Earlier this week, comedian Bill Burr went off on Governor Ron DeSantis. This is as Florida continues to suffer uh, a massive wave of the Delta variant of coronavirus. Uh, look, their hospitals are, are being slammed, uh, 90% capacity. Uh, and in fact, on Friday, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, this is last Friday, reported 23,903 new coronavirus cases in Florida. That has been the highest single day total in the state since the beginning of the pandemic, and it has not gotten much better. Uh, in fact, a fifth of all new U.S. infections and current hospitalizations come from the shun, uh, Sunshine State, according to the Washington Post. Uh, and look, it's not just Florida. Of course, you have Texas, you have Mississippi, uh, Louisiana. Mississippi uh, literally has had to call in the USNS Comfort, the hospital ship, because their hospitals are, are flooded with COVID patients. So it's pretty bad. So now... Republican Governor uh, Ron DeSantis, well, what's he doing about it? Nothing. In fact, he's literally blocking mass mandates. He's saying we will have no mass mandates, even for kids returning to school. In fact, here's what he said on that. We can either have a free society or we can have a biomedical security state. And I can tell you, Florida, we're a free state. So now, uh, comedian Bill Burr, uh, of Mandalorian, uh, it decided to, well, respond to that statement on his podcast. Let's listen. DeSantis, whoever this guy is, and they have the most grumpiest looking photo ever. This guy uh, is starting to build his stature in 2024. And uh, he says he disagrees on mask mandates. These kids aren't wearing masks. The amount of people who not only don't even own a microscope or even have a pair of scrubs, you know, unless they went to some Halloween party, who are literally questioning doctors. It's just at this point, it's just hilarious. Ah, what do you know? These pieces of shit politicians, he knows that that's what his fan base wants him to do. So that's what the he's going to do. Unbelievable. Nice. <laughs> so for one, I, I love it because it's true. DeSantis is 100% pandering to his audience. Remember, the modern Republican Party, the death cult. As bad as the Democrats are, not exactly a death cult. So let's be fair about that, okay? Uh, let's be honest. Now, you've got people who, by the way, do not know anything about epidemiology. Uh, now, well, they're suddenly experts. They suddenly did their, their research, all right? Uh, and now, of course... Their research includes seeing memes on Facebook and shitty YouTube videos from quacks. And, of course, just random, like, YouTube hosts and Spotify. Now, to be fair, of course, Bill Burr is on Spotify, but here's the thing. Uh, I'll get to that, actually, a little bit later. Uh, but first, imagine believing that you know more than experts who have devoted their lives to studying viruses and how they work. See, this is why I get irritated. Uh, and I defend Dr. Fauci. Now, look, Fauci, let's be honest, he's made missteps, he's made mistakes. Um, telling people not to wear a mask early on in the, in the pandemic, that was a mistake. And look, it, he deserves criticism for that. Um, not a good move. But also, let's be honest, if he had, what do you think would happen? Well, I think there would have been a, a run on masks. There would have been a few jackasses that would have hoarded all the N95s. You know how I know that? It's because, well, they did the same thing with toilet paper. It, it's, it's human nature to panic. It's human nature to hoard during a panic. Uh, and so still, I would have personally, since I am a rational person, uh, it would have been nice to know that masks were effective in order to avoid, first of all, confusion uh, and all that. But, uh, and I wish, of course, we would have been, a, uh, we as a society would have been in a better position and had been more rational so that we could have handled the truth without going apeshit. But anyway, now, Burr also pointed out correctly that the scientists might have some presidential aspirations. No surprise. I, I don't know 
how he'd do against Trump if Trump decides to run in 2024. Uh, that is a slightly interesting question, but probably for another time, to be fair. But it is interesting how this is, how this is noted, uh, not only in a lot of articles, but as I said, Burr had talked about it. Uh, and, and of course, look, Ron DeSantis is basically mini Trump. Uh, he's the most, one of the most Trumpian. I'm not sure if he is the most Trumpian, but he's one of the most Trumpian, uh, you know, uh, governors out there. And so it's not surprising that he goes in this direction because what I see going on in the Republican Party is they're all participating in a dumb off. Like how stupid, how cruel can we get in order to get the hogs on our side? And it is costing lives. It is costing lives. So now Burr also previously went after anti-vaxxers, which I love. Um, he said that they were full of shit. And he said, I'll tell you right now, if they came out with a shot that gave you a flat stomach and abs, all these same people that said, um, you ain't effing with my freedom, they'd be right down there getting that effing thing. Mm, 100%. I'll, hell, I'd get it. Well, I already, got the, you know, I already got the vaccine. You know, I'm like team, you know, house Pfizer over here, but um, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Here's the thing, too, about that. So now I know there's a lot of people that offer uh, or states that are offering incentives. It turns out it's not really incentives that will spur people to get the vaccine. In reality, it actually does come down to mandates. And I know that's a thing that a lot of people understandably kind of cringe away from and think, oh, no, no, mandate's bad. But if you think about it, and, and, and there's actually a, a, a poll here um, about vaccine mandates. Uh, and basically, they, they you know, told people, okay, if you were to be mandated to have a vaccine in order to go to a gym or in order to you know, fly, for example, uh, I believe the highest response was, well, if I was required to get a vaccine, a COVID-19 vaccine to fly, then yes, uh, that would make me much more likely, more likely than any other answer to go and get the vaccine. So that kind of answers the question of what, you know, what can properly motivate people to go and get those vaccines. So, but anyway, as far as Republicans are concerned, remember, yeah, they say they're about freedom, but it, it's really not. For them, it's actually about them wanting to be extremely selfish. And they have made that selfishness a part of their political identity. And so not having a sense of responsibility, of course, to their community or their fellow Americans during a time of crisis. It is selfishness. And also, let me just add, to give some nuance here, I think there are a chunk of those people who are maybe vaccine hesitant, um, but as a result of disinformation. Maybe these are people that mean well, that are, but, but have come to believe things that they've heard on Fox News, on cable TV, uh, on Newsmax, or in Facebook memes. And so I'm not saying we should like play super nicey-nice with them, uh, but I am saying that that disinformation, that's where that comes from. Not only that, but again, you know, I've got some examples. You've got OAN, of course, Newsmax, Fox News. Um, other conservative media sources. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, right now, huge proponent of vaccine and mass disinformation. Uh, and in fact, uh, Bill Burr went on Rogan's program, and here's what he said. This was, of course, uh, after Rogan said that mask, uh, mask wearing was for quote unquote bitches. Quote, I don't want to start this bullshit. I'm not going to sit here with no medical degree listening to you with no medical degree, when an America, uh, with an American flag behind you smoking a cigar, acting like we know what's up better than the CDC. I, I wish more people who would go on Rogan would challenge these ridiculous beliefs, uh, because right now he's doing way more harm to the American people um, because he's got millions of listeners. So big credit to Bill Burr for that, uh, and I want to see more of that. And now, some of you might be thinking, 
who cares what a celebrity thinks, right? Why should I care about what Bill Burr or, or Joe Rogan would say? Well, I would say in response to that, well, they have big audiences. They have influence. Bill Burr happens to have the facts on his side because he's agreeing with the people who actually know what's going on, the scientists and the epidemiologists. He's on the right side of this issue. It's not that he is the arbiter of science. No, he's not the arbiter of science, but you know, more so than like somebody like Joe Rogan is an arbiter of science. They're not. They're talking heads like me. But what we do, we, we do uh, is we rely on the science. And we rely on the reporting uh, of you know, scientific outlets and their studies and the, their factual information. And we need that. And we need more of these people who have these large platforms to go and challenge and defeat disinformation. So I think it's great to have people on our side uh, when it comes to facts. Because at the end of the day, as much as we hate it sometimes, people, large celebrities, comedians, well, they got big influence. And we should give them credit for using their, their platforms for good to spread information, uh, not disinformation. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.